Spot grips are a dumbbell spotter system. You've probably never heard of that, but a dumbbell spotter system basically means that you can train heavier alone with dumbbells for bench, overhead press, that sort of thing. The issue is they're pretty expensive. So let's figure out if they're worth buying or not. Let's do it. Hey guys, this is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews and today we're reviewing these. These are spot grips. This is a dumbbell spotter system. Also it could be a barbell spotter system. We'll kind of show you how that works. But these are designed so you can lift heavier, you know, like when I'm repping out 500 pounds on dumbbells, if I don't have somebody in the garage with me, I get worried, you know, if you drop a dumbbell or something, you're gonna get hurt, okay? So rather than having to do that, these are there to catch you, okay? It's a very unique idea. They're patented, as you can see by this sticker right here, patent 9,884,239. But the issue is they're also very expensive. So we're gonna go through, we'll kind of talk about them a little bit and you know, see if they're really worth the cost. So kind of to show you how they work, they have this basic metal full construction unit with this hook right here. They then have a strap that attaches to something overhead. Really, these are designed to be used in power racks because power racks can hold a lot of weight. They also have an overhead structure. Now, if you wanted to, you could also set them up to something like this. I don't know if you can get to that. So that's a gymnastics ring hanger. So if you wanted to hang them from that, you could also do that as well. You're just putting quite a bit of weight on your joist, but I think it could handle, um, unless you're just repping out, you know, like crazy amount of weight. Uh, but that's the design. So this is the way it works without a dumbbell. It's got this little hook right here, and then it has a handle right here. Come in close, come in close. So what you do is you grip this to release. It's released, you're fully locked in. So you can go up, down, up, down, okay? Up, down, up, down. <laughs> and then as you drop it, it just locks in, okay? It's really that simple. So if you wanted to do overhead press or bench, things like that, you can. And these straps, I'm pretty sure these straps are rated for like 2,000 pounds each or something like that. So there's really no worry for them to break. Now, let's kind of show you what they look like with dumbbells. Let's grab a set. So I got a pair of 125s here we're gonna attach. Oh, shoot. I accidentally grabbed the 65s, but we'll just use the East because I forgot to grab the 125s. So you attach this on here, like so. It's in there. I'll grab the other one as well. This is honestly, uh, you know, you probably need a spotter to help you put weight in the spot grips. Uh, it's just a little bit. Yeah, th thanks, Lynn. Appreciate it, bro. Some extra stuff. So there we go. They're in there. And as you can see, they're holding strong. These are 65s, but so if you want to get them in place, you can kind of just go like this and they can go really high. And if you want to drop them. So we'll kind of show you what they look like benching with them. Pull this bench out. Always take care of your stuff. Take care of your stuff. Like my old dad used to say, take care of your stuff, it'll take care of you, you know? We've reviewed VersaGrip, VersaSpot, by the way, which is kind of a similar system, although it doesn't spot you. It's just kind of there as a liftoff platform. This allows you to use a liftoff platform and a spotter. So you get it in place. You know, you may want to adjust where the straps are located and everything like that. But when you're ready, you just press up, release, and then you can begin benching. Let's say you're repping out or you're going for a max dumbbell bench, which I don't know why somebody would do a max dumbbell bench other than heavy reps, but you know, you're failing. Rather than dropping to your side, you just release. Just like that, it's pretty cool. And I mean, it's like, I've used them for, you know, heavier weight than 65s. They hold just fine. Um, and they just work. So show you again. You can also do, what, one of the great things that also are good for these is shoulder press as well. So 
But for bench, release them. You're good to go. This also allows you the ability to do bench from like different, different points. So if you want to like work off of your chest, you can just start at the bottom, release, and then go. Or just release at the top, just like you would a normal bench. Release, and you're good. So if you want to do shoulder press, lift up. So you could start these at the top of the movement. So if you really wanted to, you go to the very top of your movement, and rather than having to start at you know shoulder height, like you typically have to do, you can start at the top, just like you would with uh, like a barbell. Release. Press and then release. And the same thing, if you're, you know, you're pressing overhead and you're getting too heavy and you're starting to fail a rep, release and back up. Okay, so they latch really quickly. They're very strong. You can do as much weight as you want. So I've kind of been wanting to do a test to see how much weight this thing can hold when I release it. I've got a 200 pound kettlebell over there, but I don't think it's going to fit on here. So we'll try a hundred pound dumbbell and I'll try and release it hard. We can see how it holds. So as you can see, hundred pounder, I didn't ask for approval to do this from spot grips. So I'm hoping this doesn't fail, but they're rated for a lot of weight and I also don't want to hurt myself. So I'm basically just going to like jam down on this bad boy. And we'll see, I'll release, see if it catches. Are you ready, Lynn? I'm ready. Let's do this. Three, two, one. Pretty strong. Okay. So you really shouldn't have worry about, you know, dropping the weight on you or something like that. It's going to hold. The reason is because they got these nylon straps. There's some sort of mechanism in here that locks. I haven't opened it up, so I don't know what it looks like inside. And then it's wrapped above, I mean, this power rack can hold whatever weight you want. Okay. So that's how it works. Now let's talk about like its feasibility. Oh, also one other thing you can use it on a barbell. So if you wanted to use it on a barbell, I think it'd feel kind of cumbersome, but you wrapped around the barbell just like normal. And then when you want to squat, bench, whatever, you release it and you're good. Okay. Here's some of my issues with this one. I just want to say, I like the idea. I think it's a cool idea. I use it for overhead press, typically is what I'll use it for. I'm never going that heavy on bench where I'm maxing out, but I do like to start like overhead press movements with dumbbells at the height and you don't have to like lift them up every time. It's just kind of there, which is cool. Um, and it works well, but these are some of the things I don't like. One, as you can tell, is the stickers. Everybody know this already about me. I don't love stickers, especially on an expensive product. So whenever I'm rating something, I'm saying, how does the price match up with the value that's provided? Okay, the functionality is pretty cool, but the stickers, man, I don't love the stickers, okay? I think it's something where, you know, laser cut logo or some sort of like emblem or something I think would have been cool. Um, Cause it's a cool looking unit, you know, but they put stickers there. That's number one. Number two is you're trying to line things up on the, on the uh, straps and make them even but there's no markings on the straps. So there's no way to know like if you're at actually even. So you can get pretty close if you spot it and like, you know, look, but even then like you're not gonna be exact. So I think I would like to see some markings here. That way you could get at least somewhat close um, to each other as far as them being parallel. This next one is just inherent in the design and that is all the weight sits at the top. So, I mean, these are maybe 10, you know, maybe like eight pounds or so. I mean, they're not light um, for something like this, but like what's happening is you've got the weight, the dumbbell in here. So when you release, then you're pressing and all this weight, it kind of like, it's pretty even because it's being pulled, but it's, it's got some like, I don't know, instability to it versus like a dumbbell because the weight's kind of centered rather it's over top. So 
something to consider. Um, I don't really know how they could fix that other than completely redo the design. I don't think it's worth doing. Like it's not a huge deal. And then the last one is the price. Okay, so like in the beginning, I said these are expensive. Right now, I think on Elite FTS, they're being sold and they're also sold on Spot Grips website. They're $499. Okay, so 499 bucks is a lot of money. Now I get it, like it's probably a startup, very small company, trying to create a new product, have to pay for patents, all that, all the you know, tooling, everything. So 500 bucks, you know, like, I don't know what their margins are, but that's a lot of money for something like this. So do I like the product and would I recommend it? Yeah, I think, you know, especially for people that are lifting at home, anything that makes it safer to lift at home, I'm a big fan of. However, it's super expensive. I think it's too expensive for most people to adopt. Um, so, you know, if you're somebody that, you know, thinks you'd like, or don't mind spending $499 for your safety, I could understand that, you know, because you want to be safer when you lift. But I think most people would just say, oh, I'll just use a barbell and use it in a rack and not worry about it versus paying $499 for this. Because $499, you could buy a whole new squat rack or a really, really nice barbell, things like that. So those are my takes. So it's a pretty cool product, pretty expensive, um, but it works. And as you saw, it can hold a lot of weight. All right, this has been Coop from Garage and Reviews. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace.